you worked with uh, the beautiful Will Smith before in The Pursuit of Happiness, and, and, and when I was watching this movie, there was such a kind of, we we'll say, a, a huge amount of, 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 of love and, and, and sweetness about it that I felt like I was being molested by a care bearer. I don't know whether you kind of felt while you were making it when you looked at the script, there was such a kind of an element that you had to be very careful with the saccharine, with the sweetness of the story. Oh, yes, I mean, this was, was a very, one of the hardest uh, movies that the director can handle. I mean, there were, it was so... The, 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 you really had to work on a very very thin line, and you you know you, you really had to be in balance uh, for uh, for for at least for the two hours the, uh, of length of the movie, uh, and you uh, you know through those two hours you gotta bring the audience from a very dark spot uh, and uh, from a very mysterious uh, um, uh, introduction of the movie where they really know nothing about the story and uh, what this guy is up to, to a reveal that uh, that is very um, uh, powerful uh, uh, and uh, the payoff is very, it, it, it is very, um, it's very strong and emotional. But, you know, handle, handling this wasn't easy. And um, we went into, into this journey because, the, the, as you said, the, seed, the sweetness and the idea of love uh, uh, displayed by the story was incredibly uh, original, revolutionary, almost Shakespearean. Like you know, it reminded me Romeo and Juliet, uh, and uh, in, in a modern time with, with a much modern um, and thought-provocative uh, message. Uh, so the idea to make something so drastically uh, new and um, and controversial inside the Hollywood system to me was so attractive and so intriguing that I couldn't say no. And I probably he felt the same. I know the Will is probably the last really sort of Hollywood actor that can be guaranteed box office. I mean, you talk about George and Brad Pitt and all those, they've kind of embraced art house and, and crowd displeasers, but Will has always managed every year to make these kind of movies that really connect with people. This one, it very, very rarely happens for him, but this one has got a rough ride, and, and, and I know that critically it's got a bad response in the States, 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. Do you, does that sort of thing kind of come into your conversation, say the Monday after the opening weekend? Do you guys talk about, I wonder why, and, or, or do you sort of say, well, this is the film we wanted to make and we're happy with it, I, I don't care? Um, you know, at the end of the day, what really counts to me was really to see how people have been responding, how much they get emotional, how much they felt and the, uh, the, the, the message of the movie and, and, and how much they got uh, the movie. It's amazing that the audience com got completely and gets completely the idea of the movie and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the emotional message of the movie. And the critics somehow, the, they, I mean, of course, we can't say that everybody hates it. I mean, the, the, there are major critics who, who love the movie and, and completely uh, got it. There are others that they feel feels like they didn't get it at all, which is respectable. I mean, I, I, we had to respect any every opinion. Uh, the way we felt it was a little bit. Um, I mean, I felt confused because uh, I got bad reviews in my career. I mean, every movie you do has, is going to end up with with good and bad reviews. But you kind of always f understand what the bad reviews say about your movie. And this time, I, you know, I didn't really learn much because the, what do we, if, I, if if a critic says that your movie is manipulative, uh, I say, you say manipulative. Mm -hmm. Manipulative. Manipula yeah. You don't really learn much because I don't know what movie is not manipulative. I mean, mm -hmm. the, 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 a movie has to hook uh, the audience and to give a climax at the end and, and give them, you know, the. the, the the sense to be enjoyed and, and entertained. So you're gonna manipulate the audience in a thriller, in a in a in a, in a romantic comedy. You're gonna work the more the feelings of the audience. So if if I get as as a, as a major critic that the, the movie is manipulative, I, I can easily say yes, it is. But what is the point? Why is that so bad? So I, I, I didn't really learn much, uh, and that, that was a pity. Well, it struck me that if this had been, I know the writer had originally intended this to be a half million dollar kind of Sundance movie, and, and it sort of became, obviously with Will's involvement, a bigger kind of movie. And I do think that people's pers perspective, when, when you put someone like Will in there, becomes different. If this had been a small Italian film, people might have, you know, gone with the story that sort of, with the, 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 the sweetness of the story a little bit easier. I don't know whether you feel there's a sort of baggage that comes with the fact that it's a Will Smith movie, so people have these, 
very strong expectations about the box office and about what they... Oh, uh, yes. They, that, I definitely felt that. I mean, I felt the critics, uh, after having killed the Hancock, uh, they were really uh, ready to shoot again. Uh, this, is, this is something I felt. Uh, I believe that if I would have had uh, um, uh, somebody a little bit less under the lights, like Will Smith, would have been slightly different. That's my opinion. And uh, in, in the meanwhile, uh, a, a, a kind of, a, of indies uh, typical movie like this one, you know, talk to millions of people around the world. I mean, it's talking. I mean, in, in, at the end of the day, I mean, this movie it ends up to do uh, was, uh, very close or even more than eighty million dollars in, in the USA, and we can't. Um, I mean, we can't forget this movie. Otherwise, we would have done fifteen million dollars without with it. I mean, the, the, we are bringing a, 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 a movie which is. Uh, usually the released in few prints uh, to, to a very broad audience and uh, in Europe we, so far we are having, uh, we are having a bigger opening than Pursuit of Happiness and I think that's kind of revolutionary and we can't forget that a movie like this like 21 Gram which is a, a beautiful movie great movie did 15 million dollars and we are way ahead inside the Hollywood system bringing something which is definitely thought provocative uh, that somebody believes is, 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 is magnificent, somebody might um, hate, but that's uh, the beauty of making movies. Uh, if you do a movie that uh, everybody agrees and forgets the moment they walk out uh, from the theater, you don't feel like you did uh, anything important. Or, uh, you know, the, the, the beauty of making movies is really provoking thoughts and uh, conversation and even some argument. That's the beauty. And that, that's, uh, that makes you feel alive as a director and probably uh, even as an actor you feel like you're doing something you're moving forward so i think somebody just jumped we just missed it yeah probably yeah, rock and roll thank, I hope he's, he's gonna <laughs> thank you so much that's great thank you